Chris, willful blindness, you've told me about yeah. that in the past, and yeah. I'd love you to share that with our viewers. Yeah, that's really relevant now. I'll tell you what willful blindness is. It's a perfect description of what's going on now. And what willful blindness is when you run an organisation and you keep doing things that you know at the end of the day aren't going to achieve what you want. Now, that, that would be right now continuing to run a business where your costs were too high or your break even was too high. That's willful blindness. Because what you would be doing right now is neglecting or ignoring the science, and we've done too much of that in the last few years, and the science is telling us this is going to be not weeks, it's months, and it's probably six months. So if that is the case, and you've got a business, you talked to me the other day about break-evens. We had a conversation about that. For those of you who don't know what a break-even is, a break-even is a way of calculating in your business the number of sales or deals that you have to do in that business in order to break even and just cover your costs this month. So the example would be if you're in a business and, and 20 sales are your break even and you're already doing 10 sales, it's willful blindness right now to continue with those costs because at the end of the day, that business will ultimately go broke unless you've got really deep pockets. So that's willful blindness. Careful who you listen to. That's, that's the most important make, point I'd make about coaching and training right now. I'd be wanting to listen to people either on the tools now in their own businesses or yeah. people who've got some experience in that area. Yeah, I agree with you. And I always say to people, you don't, firstly, you listen to who the advice comes from. And secondly, you listen to the advice. And I yeah. think a lot of people do it the other way around. They listen yeah. to the advice first and then where it's come from. And all I've learned, and you know, Chris, I'm, I'm cynical because there's a group of people that influence the mind of our industry, the 90,000 people that you talk about, and they have never ever had the insomnia of looking forward and knowing, shit, I've got a, got a shortfall between income and expense, expenses. They've never had anyone that's walked into their office saying, hey, I'm opening up across the road against you. They've never ever, in some instances, Chris, they've never ever sat down and tried to convince an owner to actually give them the listing. And then we've got 90,000 people that will sit there and listen to these people, whether it's on a stage or on a podcast, and they'll say, geez, that sounds so eloquent. But the real issue is that no training audio book survives collision with reality. And um, reality is very different to the seven steps to get a listing. Reality is very different to this is the world-class guide to making a profit because every PowerPoint looks good on a, on a stage, you know? Other than unpredictability and being comfortable with unpredictability, which we've all got to be right now, and it's a scary thought, trust is the other big issue. And the difficult thing for some bosses now is that if there isn't a lot of trust in their organisation, they're going to have to build it real quick. And I'll tell you the simple, quickest way to build trust both with your sellers, with your landlords, with your tenants and with your staff. The rule's the same. It's given you a test drive of Real Estate Gym. Let me tell you, if you're a subscriber and a member of the gym, you'll be getting videos from our co-coaches all the time. You'll be getting mentors, you'll be getting scripts, you'll be getting dialogues, you'll be getting templates, and most importantly, my prospector, your personal accountability system to make more calls, get more appointments, get more listings. From around $10 per week, realestategym.com.au, your personal coach.